And then it was determined that the best way to counter the growing movement for African liberation is to infiltrate it and bring it into conformity with the guidelines of white supremacy. This will be accomplished by the use of outside funding to promote a culture of externally controlled dependency instead of a culture that would lead to the ex-slaves ultimate independence and sovereignty. The intent is to get the ex-slave addicted to doing big things with the help of his ex-slave masters. Once addicted, the ex-slave will voluntarily cooperate in stifling the voices of his enslaved ancestors. He will shirk his sacred historical obligation to keep their story alive and his programming the center on stuff that both slave and slave master can enjoy. Every form of behavior modification will be voluntarily undertaken so that the ex-slave masters will keep up the funding. Because of this bright factor, the Negro will therefore lack the burning ambition and the mental resolve to enact the kinds of disciplines that would free him and his posterity from the centuries-old yoke of subservient dependency and external control. I'm telling you, the man and the dog are definitely working together. The man and the dog are definitely working together. <laughs>